We're now moving into one of the most hottest periods that we'll see during December. It's very interesting. Across Victoria, it's been in the 30s for days, particularly in northern Victoria, where it's been 36, 37 degrees. Now we're moving in where we see Friday, Saturday and Sunday be a very significant heat event and also we'll have wind which will bring the fire danger rating up. With, with the heat, it's all about you and your safety. It's about how you look after yourself, your family, your friends, your neighbours. But it's also about pets. Don't underestimate what heat does to the pets and those pets that we love and we care for are very much part of our lives. So make sure we've got the people bit and the pets bit in the next few days with heat. The other one with heat, it's overnight temperatures. So we'll see that it will stay in the 20s, the mid 20s, and the potential is it'll almost get to 30 degrees at midnight on Saturday night. That's amazing when you think about it, how hot it will be overnight. Now take that to the, the fire scenario, add wind in, we'll have wind across Victoria um, that's up in the 40, 50 kilometre wind speeds. The fire danger ratings for Friday are severe in the, in the southwest, in the Wimmera, in North Central and Central Total Fire Band districts, and there's total fire bands in those uh, four areas. That means that we've got the potential for fires to take hold really quick and run hard with intensity. Then we move that we see um, the state move to extreme in the southwest on Saturday, severe in most other districts, and a total fire ban across the whole of Victoria for Saturday. And we move into Sunday that we, we quite haven't got the exact temperatures for, for Sunday, but it will remain warm and hot across most parts with a change moving through. So stay tuned about what Sunday really does bring with a quite a dynamic day. Key messages is about your safety. Safety about heat and heat fatigue, safety about fires, safety about where you're traveling. It's that time of the year that we become mobile. And for those that are having the barbecue, the final work break up, think about what a total fire ban means because you can't have a solid fuel barbecue. It needs to be gas or electric. It needs to be close to the home go onto the, onto the websites, have a look at that information about getting it right for a total fire ban. Total fire bans are there for a reason, it's about not starting a fire. So that's really important. I'll leave it there, hot, hot weather with some wind which, which, which makes us see the fire dangers up, but it's all about heat and fire over this weekend. Thank you.